It's a hello from Dunny Pace. Okay, I was interested in the badge. What is that a factory? Um, the, the building at the top is a paper mill. Denny um, had um, extremely large paper mills back in the back in the day, and most of the football teams were founded as as um, teams from the, from the mills. Aye, work teams, yeah. Yeah, work teams. Um, the bridge is the bridge that spans Donny Pace and Denny. Yeah. And the water underneath it is the current. Aye. We moved up in 1961 from where the current primary 71, school, was 71, sorry, Aye. where the primary school was situated right. up here. We've had a grass park up until about four or five years ago where we got, when we got funding to put down oh, the actual surface and we've just um, kind of grown as a club since then. We've had lots of youth teams joining in the club now. We've got over 300 players, over 70 volunteers and um, over a thousand users of the, of the venue every week. That's brilliant, thanks very much, I'll have a wee walk. Okay, that's me just in the ground, I was just going to have a wee tour round the ground. Okay, here we go, we've got a nice wee stand here, eh, behind the goals. I'm asking about, you know, is it, is it a Denny Dunny Pace? I mean, the ground, although they're called Dunny Pace, they're in Denny, but Denny and Dunny Pace are one sort of village now, eh, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's very interesting. Ah, it's a nice wee ground here, they've got a bit of... So there is banking up here, and uh, well, that's quite steep. It's quite good. Got a good, uh, quite a good height from up here. Yeah, it looks good. Well, you certainly got a good view from up here. Okay, I'm going to continue my walk around the ground. I well, can walk right around the ground. That's good. There we go, that's me just we walked around the ground. Uh, that's a good, uh, a good paved area here. It's a good sort of quality fence. And there's a good banking over there as well. So, yes, quite quite a good big ground. And... Yeah, so Dunny Pace are playing... Camelin Juniors, uh, they're, they're both in the, the same uh, division, but this is a cup game, a league cup game. Uh, Dunny Pace are actually above them in the league, uh, but Camelin have got a lot of new players, uh, as I discussed, mentioned last week. Well, there's Dunny Pace coming out in their black and white striped jerseys. Well, lots of players out, but we're still waiting for an official. <laughs> so we're just having a wee kick about, keep warm, because it's a cold night. Ah, here's the match officials now. <laughs> what a delay. There we go, kick off. Oh, there's an early chance for Dunny Pace. Oh. That's it for a corner. Oh, they're doing a short corner. Oh. oh. Oh, uh, well, first touch up and down there. As Dunny Pace had two chances already, it's only, <laughs> look, it was about two minutes. So, we've got another corner. Well, here is the way. Oh, coming for offside here. Oh, well, it's offside now, so I don't know if that was a late one. Oh, there's a ball over. Oh, that should have been in, I think. 
this is a free header. A chance for Kimmel now. No, short of target. No chance for Bonacase. Oh, good save. Oh, oh. Oh, he's playing a handball, but couldn't you see from here? Oh, it's one note with any pace. Defended, well done. Oh, that was another close one. Oh, good chance here. Yeah, so got that. Oh. That was a real lucky. What's an effort? Oh! Oh, it's a bit closer. <laughs> oh, no defense there. Just a lot of it. <laughs> Thanks for Kimlin. A long effort, effort, but well over the top. Oh, chance for Johnny Pace. Oh. Oh, the good ball in, but not. Safe. Every time Danny Peace are coming going forward, they, they're dangerous. Look like they're going to score. Safe, good shot. That's the best chance given I've had. Chance here. Oh. Again. Half time. Well, there you go. How, 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 how uh, it's only one and a half time. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, that not even should have been four or five nil. As I always say, one nil is never enough. And I gave it two halves. Oh, oh, 
go. Oh, oh, I'm doing my thought. Oh, it's certainly the best chance for Camelot and the other. I don't know how they missed that. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm in for a cup of tea. <laughs> just freezing. Uh, that's where I'm in my position. I'm just making my way the other now. Oh, oh, another nice chance. Dear me. Yeah, Dunny Pace will be ruining these chances. I mean, they're only 1 0 up. And I've always said, don't, one nil's never enough. And uh, unbelievable goals. Uh, Camelon have come out there in the second half and uh, they've actually been playing pretty good. So we'll see what happens. Oh, it's a corner that came on. Is that the first corner? I think it is. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Trouble to go there, right there. Oh, well, that was. Oh, amazing. That's another, another chance here for Tiny Peace. It's still only one nil. If Cameron can get a goal, <laughs> you never know. That's the snow coming down now. <laughs> Pretty light though. Oh. 
<laughs> Some give us no, eh? Was it? Yeah. A short corner. You can always tell me it's near the end of your game, eh? We do the short corner. Another short corner. Oh, I see. It doesn't always work, does it? Oh. No. Must be, must be time up soon. Probably last chance for, for Kim one here. That's a full time one nil. Right, I'm here with Mark Brown. How are you doing, Mark? Great seeing you. What do you think about the game then? Well, Norrie, it was, uh, you know, you could say it was a preferable game of two halves there. Definitely. Uh, certainly in the first half, Dunny Pace, before they got their, their, their goal, which proved to be decisive, and uh, you could claim it was in quite controversial circumstances. Yeah, I believe uh, so. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the footage after the match to see which part of the, the Shrinkers yeah. Anatomy that ball came off to, to bundle yeah. over the line, but uh, probably could have been two, three up before then and probably were the winners over the, the course of the, the 90 minutes. Yeah, I noticed the goalie was claiming handball, but I couldn't see from where I was. But did you see you had a better view of it? Yeah, I was probably in line with, with, with uh, the, the players that yeah. went in. But, you know, the Lino and the, the ref gave it, and, uh, well, uh, only Cher can turn back time, so certainly <laughs> can't right. go back to the start of the match and replay that over again. But, uh, Camelon tried their best to get back into it, but yeah. it was a, a resolute uh, dunny piece defence, which... Uh, Having played them in, in one of the cups earlier on the season at Spartans, we, uh, I certainly know what they're capable of doing, yeah. and I think they, they dug in deep to keep that uh, scoreline as it was and, and progress into the next round of the cup. Oh, so I, I, I was thinking that uh, Dunning Bears were going to rue the missed chances because, I mean, they, they should have been three or four, five nil up at half time. And as I always say, as you say as well, gave it two halves, one nil's never enough. Yeah, I know uh, Kevin came into the game. Uh, on a, on a relatively poor run of form recently, so they were probably looking to get back uh, back onto winning ways, and uh, perhaps their chances were few and far between. But those that they had, they probably rue those uh, t uh, not putting those chances into the back of the net and, uh, and, and force it into extra time, perhaps. And a night that uh, was certainly very very cold. Oh, it and, was uh, cold. <laughs> to freeze your ockles off uh, <laughs> through here in, in uh, Denny. Denny, that's right. Like Denny face and Denny. Right, Mark, thanks very right, much. See you again, Norrie, and uh, take care. I look forward to seeing your vlog in, in due course. Certainly, good man. Well, thanks for watching. Um, and thanks to was it John Marshall, the committee member, for explaining to me about the, the badge and some of the history at Dunny Pace uh, Football Club. And uh, it was a good game, I enjoyed it. Uh, certainly, after the, the noise atmosphere and the 
uh, the bedlam at uh, Dunfermline versus Falkirk. Um, I mean, OK, you're not going to get the atmosphere of these sort of games, but it's still, I think it's still good value for money, plenty of going with action and a lot of good football. Well, it was great meeting up with Mark Brown. Interesting guy. He's involved with the Spartans in Edinburgh, but also brought in rugby. So he's a rugby and a football fan. He does photography, he does comms, etc. So check him out. I'll put his Twitter feed there. Interesting guy. And thanks for his analyst of the match. Also, thanks to the, I didn't catch her name, one of the, I think it was one of the committee members, a lady who found my microphone. I dropped my microphone. I couldn't find it going around looking for it. She had picked it up. And he uh, was looking for me, so thanks very much for that, much appreciated. Well, that was an interesting visit to Dunny Pace. Uh, as I say, I think uh, it's good value for money. It was a good game, two good teams playing uh, good football, end to end stuff. Get yourself down here to support these teams, brilliant. I really enjoyed my experience, and I'll see you behind the goals. Aye, give me a like and subscribe, please. I really appreciate that, it means a lot to me. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Question was in the last chapter. You gave me the soul I 